Good evening to all the great people out there in the world. Five years ago, wow, time flies, I did a video on the first movie about the perverted superhero Hentai Kamen, and after all these years I finally gotten around to checking out its sequel. So put your best granny panties on your head to summon the powerful spirits of the Japanese panty gods, as I am Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and this is Hentai Kamen 2 The Abnormal Crisis. After eliminating the terrible bad guy Tamao Ugana in the first film, Kiyosuke, our panty-wearing hero, is now trying to adapt back to his regular life by getting back to studying and still trying to make a romantic connection with his beloved Aiko. He still has her panties, in case the world needs him to transform into hentai kamen. But this is also causing issues between them, as Aiko wants Kiyosuke to leave his dangerous superhero life behind him for good and even forces him to return her panties. But with great panties comes great responsibilities, or something like that. So even when Kyosuke tries to leave his undergarment life behind him, evil refuses to die, and a new dangerous villain soon emerges in Mr. Vacuum. Mr. Vacuum arrives, sucking in all the panties in Japan before he absorbs them or eats them like candy, leaving all the Japanese women pantyless and embarrassed. Yes, I swear this is the real plot. This naturally terrifies the great people of Japan, and the only one who can turn Mr. Vacuum off for good is of course the one and only Hentai Kamen. But without Aiko's precious panties to turn him into the hero we all need and probably deserve, Kiyosuke has to search deep for other ways to achieve his full perverted powers. And things get even worse when he finds out that his former enemy Ugane might still be alive even after blowing up into a million pieces in the first film. And Ugane might just have his hands in the devastating acts of Mr. Vacuum. So, Hentai Kamen The Abnormal Crisis is the 2016 sequel to the first Hentai Kamen movie which came out back in 2013, and like I said, I did do a positive video on the first one several years ago. I liked that movie way more than expected, and believe I even called it one of the funniest superhero movies of this era. So I actually had some hype for the Abnormal Crisis at the time, bought it on Blu-ray, and then never got around to it. Before now. And my first impression of the sitting through nearly two hours of this silly stuff is that I wish they had completed the Hentai Kamen trilogy, instead of leaving us hanging like it was The Amazing Spider-Man. And the comparison to Spider-Man doesn't stop there, as this one contains more references to all the superhero movies than what I believe the first one had. Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2 seems to be the biggest inspiration, as the filmmaker seems to go back to referencing that one several times. The opening credits is Marvel-esque, and Mr. Vacuum is obviously a play on Morbius. Because they both suck. All the main players from the first one is back, with Yuichi Fukada serving as both director and screenwriter again, Ryohi Suzuki is back as the main hero Kiyosuke slash Hentai Kamen, Fumika Shimitsu returns as his love interest Aiko, and yes, the wacky Chiyoshi Muro is again playing the evil Tamao Ugane for the most part without a body this time. They all work well together and are more talented than what you might expect for a movie dealing with this kind of weirdness, which also shows when you look at how much work all of them have been able to do so far in their respective careers. The best part of both the hentai common movies is that even though they are silly, so so silly, they are created with a passion to make the best movies possible. There are emotional beats that actually work, the cast are all charming, and the fight scenes are creative. The computer effects are lacking though, but with the over-the-top nature of the film, it makes it pretty much impossible to do everything practical. While you would expect the humor of a movie like this to be kind of crude, I do feel like it isn't. Even though the hero puts his, uh, <laughs> yeah, onto the faces of his enemies, and he struggles to avoid a mental breakdown in class when he realizes that all of the girls are going pantyless, the comedy strikes a unique balance where it somehow becomes, dare I say, cute. Or at least not vulgar. 
remove the panty part and you do really have a movie that feels similar in tone and structure as a Mighty Morphin Pervert Rangers episode. criticism I do have is that I would have preferred the abnormal crisis to introduce a new, better villain, instead of recycling Ugane from the first film. As the new one, Mr. Vacuum, is pretty much under his command, reducing his threat level. If a guy named Mr. Vacuum can even have some. I'm sure the creative people behind this ridiculous stuff could come up with a new, hilarious villain for a guy to fight, and I'm a bit sad that we didn't really get that in this one. I also felt the running time more on this one than the first. The sequel runs for nearly 2 hours, and I felt the entire thing could have been condensed a bit as there are some parts that I didn't really care that much about, including a sequence where our hero tries to find guidance by visiting a perverted hermit to unlock his full pervert powers. Hentai Gaman The Abnormal Crisis is a film that will satisfy fans of the first one, while not doing enough new and fresh to make it rival its predecessor. I had a fun time with this one, and I am sad that there never was a third one, as I absolutely would want to see the future adventures of the world's greatest or most perverted superhero. <laughs> if you are new to this awesome hero, then I would recommend that you go back and check out the first Henta Kamen instead, as it is slightly better most likely due to having a bit more heart flowing through the screen. And it is honestly one of the most fun superhero movies I've seen in the last 10 years. Which is saying a lot, as even though I might come off as a weirdo who only likes to expose my eyeballs to the more insane parts of cinema, I do also keep track of what's happening in the more normal world of movies, so I'm quite familiar with the Marvel and DCU or whatever it is called these days, and I stand by my pervert take that Hentai Kamen can keep up with the majority of the better known American movies. Hentai Kamen 2 The Abnormal Crisis is fun fun fun, making me land on a score of 3.5 out of 5. Have you seen any of the Hentai Kamen movies? How do you think they stack up against each other and which one do you prefer? Let me and all the pervs know in the comment section below. And if you thought Hentai Kamen was the first panty on its head wearing superhero from Japan, then you are wrong, very wrong. Check out my video on the legendary panty mask for proof. Or just some quick laughs. At the time of doing this video, I'm getting closer and closer to 6000 subscribers, so a big thank you to everyone who has subbed to my channel over the years, and if you're not one of them yet, then you can easily join the rest of the cool 6k gang right now to keep yourself updated on all of my future videos on the weird, insane cinema that I will be covering here on Cinema Terror. Thank you.